What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. Oh yeah guys, so I've been doing some work around here. I kind of finished those platforms, got the little upside down pyramids going on underneath them. And uh, the one I'm standing on included too, these are all done. So yep, that is pretty cool. I decided to put in some water streams. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Uh, that one right there doesn't have water because it's directly above our starter mob trap way down there. And yeah, just make water go everywhere. So I decided not to put water into that one just yet. Uh, we'll probably look at doing that if we keep them. If we keep the water, we'll probably look at doing that after we disassemble the stuff down below. Now I was kind of thinking, uh, it'd be cool if we left our starter base down here and didn't destroy it and just kept it for like old time's sake or whatever. But yeah, I think it's probably gonna be all removed at some point. It's kind of in the way. Yeah, I, I think we'll get rid of it. We'll demolish it sometime. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, I've made some more of these day blooms, and we are making mana. So our diluted mana pool filled up with some mana. I threw in our second one, turned it into a regular mana pool, and then I removed the other one, replaced it with this one, the one that's a regular mana pool. And yeah, so that's what we've been doing. So now we got a decent amount of mana going on here. It doesn't look like much in that little status bar, but this mana pool holds a whole heck of a lot. So that little bit is a decent amount, really. Uh, one thing I want to do, though, is there's an item in Batania called a mana tablet. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what was that sound? <laughs> that's right, there's a mob trap right here. Uh, yeah, there's an item in Batania called a mana tablet, and I believe this guy requires an ender pearl to be thrown just like that, so it turns into a mana pearl. Uh, I was looking at magnets, actually. I'm trying to see... For working in the void, when you're breaking stuff, things always fall into the void. It'd be nice to have a magnet. I really like these, but these are super expensive. Uh, I might make a tier 1 or a tier 2 or something. But anyway, uh, so mana tablet. This guy right here. Yeah, so we need living rock around a mana pearl. Or we can do a mana diamond, which is a diamond thrown into the mana pool just the same. Uh, ender pearls are cheaper since we have an unlimited supply, really. Uh, so we need living rock. I'm going to do this and that. One of these. Okay, so if we... Yeah, this says accepting mana from items. I think if we shift right click on this, now it says sparing mana to items. So what that means is if we drop this mana tablet, all of the mana that's in this mana pool will be sucked into the tablet. So we're going to do that. Yep, and now the tablet has all the mana that was in the mana pool. Now when we break the mana pool, we're not actually wasting any of that mana. Okay, so I think at this point we can go ahead and tear this down. This was meant to be a temporary thing. It's kind of ugly, <laughs> taking up space right in the center of our area here. All right, so I got the mana tablet. Yeah, does it say how much is in there? No, it doesn't, does it? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to break this, and I think break that. All right, very good, very good. So all of our botanic stuff that we were working on is now in my inventory. Yeah, I made a few more of these day blooms. Like I said, I think we had eight. I think I doubled that. Anyway... Uh, let's take a look at our quest book. I think there are some quests in here that we completed. Yeah, two quests with unclaimed rewards. And I think that was from Batania. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so uh, solar panel completed, unclaimed reward. Unlock seven quests elsewhere. Wow, okay. So that's going to give us two more day blooms because we don't have enough. And then I'd made that mana pool off camera, like I said, just by dropping the diluted one into the diluted one that had some mana in it. Um, so that's going to give us a mana pump. I'm not sure what that is. I never got too far in Batania before, so I'm kind of looking forward to seeing where all these quests lead. So let's claim this reward. Right, so we got a few more of these quests going on. Um... You know, one thing <laughs> I should have done before I destroyed our mana pool, there's Tinker's Toys here, and this wanted us to make a mana steel ingot. You know what I think we can do? Let's put the mana pool back down on the ground. Uh, we will... Okay, so it says accepting mana from items. So I can throw the mana tablet back on here. And I'll dump all the mana back into the pool. I think it's done. Uh, we need to make a mana steel ingot, so I think it's just iron... 
I think we'll just grab one iron and throw that in there. And there we go. So there's a mana steel ingot. So does that say... Okay, yeah. So we finally finished this quest, and that's going to give us a terra steel ingot. All right, Tinker's Toys is 100% complete. Aw, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and... We'll, oh, we need to switch the mode on this thing again. So uh, sparing mana to items... We'll go ahead and suck all that mana back up. And we'll find a proper place for our mana pool and all of this stuff, our Batania stuff, later. Okay, very good, very good. I think we'll just throw all of that stuff into our AE system for now. Got to tell you guys, having applied energistics where you can just dump everything into the system at once and not really worry about where you're putting it, <laughs> it's so good. I love it. Uh, yeah, we can put the wand of the forest in there as well. Okay, so let's take a look at our quest book. Um, so we did the botanical engineering a little bit. Uh, applied engineering, I think there was a few more quests in here. Yeah, essential storage and molecular assembly. Okay, so this is the auto crafting stuff. I don't know. Well, I guess we can complete the quest right now. But I don't know if we're going to be doing too much of this today. Um, yeah, through the use of channels, interfaces, and patterns, you can craft items on demand inside the network. To do so, you'll need a molecular assembler. The assembler can be upgraded by inserting acceleration cards. Okay, so let's just make a molecular assembler. And that is going to require formation. I wonder if I have any of these pieces still around. I think think there might be a formation annihilation core down here in this crafting station thing. Aha, there is. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I should just grab all the stuff out of here, right? It's a lot of iron we got kind of hanging out down here. Now, let's get up. Get up here. And shift click. Oh, we need a crafting table, don't we? Uh, plank. Make a plank. Or, I'm sorry, make a crafting table out of the planks. Let's make a plank. There we go. Molecular assembler. And that completes this. That'll give us an ME interface. Very good. And that looks like that's wrapping up applied engineering, right? Um, or is it just hidden quest? 75% complete. Yeah, there's got to be some hidden quests in there because I don't think that this is going to be 25% of all the quests. Okay, so we got another one knocked out. So the molecular assembler, if we set this thing down, uh, it's kind of like a crafting table. We can put a pattern in here. If it gets all the materials it needs, it'll automatically create something. Uh, it's pretty cool for auto crafting. That's something we're not quite at the point of doing just yet. We're going to need a lot more power than that, than what we currently have. I think these you can convert back to the big guys and to the small guys just like that. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so one thing I was noticing uh, while I was doing stuff off camera, yeah, I wanted to put the water streams in this particular one that's above the mob trap like I was talking about earlier. But one thing I noticed is uh, this guy over here is directly underneath this platform, right? And the mob trap's being powered off solar panels and <laughs> they're not getting light anymore. So this mob trap is not going to be working here pretty quickly. Um, so I think what we should do today, I think we should go ahead and turn this guy off, shut it down, and make ourselves a better one upstairs, up there on that platform. I think that's probably going to be a good idea. So I tell you guys what, I'm going to make a cut here. I'm going to get some things together, and we will be right back. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start setting up a mob grinder over here. This is directly above where our original one is down there. <laughs> uh, so we're not going to make anything that's like crazy complicated. It's actually going to be pretty simple. Uh, so what we want to do is just have like a little 3x3 three three area here in the center where the mobs are going to collect. Uh, we could build this like pretty tall and have them fall and just drop normally, but I think we want to make use of our grinders so we can also make mob essence and things like that. So uh, what I want to do is have a spot underneath here for collecting the drops. We're going to have them sorted into barrels and 
filing cabinets and deep stores and all of this kind of stuff. So yeah, we're going to want space underneath here for all of that. Uh, eventually we'll probably hook this up so it all feeds into an AE system, our main one, but we don't have all of the space for that just yet. So I think right here, this is going to be our 3x3 three three area uh, where the mobs are going to actually collect, right, right in there. So we're going to want that, oh, something like this, two blocks tall, so they can't jump back out. So we'll want that, and let's see, I guess I can do this, <laughs> make this kind of complicated. Yeah, using the builder's wand, sometimes I want it to do things that it just doesn't want to do, which is too bad, but... Uh, it's probably easier just to place these by hand, to be honest. So something like this, and we'll go ahead and make this last little wall. Whoops. Alright, get rid of this guy, and that guy, and this. Okay, so all the mobs should be collecting right here on this floor. So we will have back here uh, grinders, probably three of them. I don't know how many we're going to need, actually. Um, I want to make sure we are killing them faster so um, they're not collecting there. We always want new ones spawning and then dying fast enough so new ones can always spawn. So yeah, I think we're going to have them collect right here. We'll have three grinders. We probably could expand that out to more than three later if we need to. In fact, we could probably change the back wall so these are all grinders if we needed to expand out more. Uh, but we want the items to come down here and be sorted into things. But, uh, <laughs> aside from that, we're going to want to use these conveyor belts. I just made a bunch of these things. Let's see. Actually, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, this right here, these can be conveyor belts. And those will all push mobs into here. You can hold down shift and they won't move you. So we can do that. Let's go ahead and put our hover mode back on. Yeah, I think we will do this. Okay, that, that. <laughs> Trying to hold shift and uh, jump with the jetpack in hover mode doesn't really work too well. If you guys haven't done that before, yep, not too good. Okay, so it's going to be something like that. So now we can actually use our builder's wand here. I think we're going to make this, oh, I don't know. <clears throat> How big should we make this? Eight? No, four, eight. I'm not sure. One, two, three, four. Maybe we'll do it that big. Something like that. And these should be facing the way that I'm placing them. So they should all, yeah, you can see the arrows are pointing the correct way. So yeah, it's going to be something like that. Uh, I think that should be big enough to spawn the mobs that we want. And then all of them should just be forced down here where the grinders will grind them. I think that should be just fine. Okay, so next step is we need to place uh, more of these conveyors to fill in the gaps here. Not really sure. I guess it doesn't really matter which way. Something like that. I'll probably make that design better <laughs> later on. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so wherever the mobs land or wherever they spawn, they should just be pushed right here into the center. That's the idea. All right, so let me go ahead and finish this up, put in some walls and cap it off, and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so I made the structure and put in some supports just so it looks like it's not floating or whatever. I did grab our grinders from down below and I replaced the blocks like this along the back side with them. Uh, I grabbed our essence drums, even though these are completely full, we really don't have a place for them to go right now. So I just stuck them right here. Uh, I did make some impulse item ducks. We had some of the, the opaque ones. And you can turn five opaque into impulse with four pieces of glowstone. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what I did. Uh, four pieces of glowstone dust, so I guess one glowstone block. Okay, so we have this set up. The dolly, by the way, is like the best item ever. So I was able to move these barrels around. You just right click on them. You get a slow effect or whatever, but you can set them down <laughs> whichever way you want. And they retain all the stuff in there. So yeah, we got all of our barrels here with all of our mob drops. Um, I was not able to dolly the filing cabinet, which is fine because you can break it and it retains all of its inventory. Uh, you can dolly this chest. 
I know people have told me that before. I was kind of afraid to move those things uh, just because I wasn't sure if the dolly would work with it correctly or not, but it does. So that's great. You can even use the dolly on uh, the potion shelf, which I thought was pretty cool. So yeah, I moved everything up here. So now the next step is trying to figure out how we're going to get the items from this pipe into these chests or drums or barrels or whatever uh, in the proper order or whatever. Uh, so basically what I want to do, I want the items to come through here and I want all the ender pearls to go into the ender pearl uh, barrel. I want all of the bones to go into the bone barrel, etc. But I don't know how to do that really with thermal dynamics now. Um, yeah, these pipes are changed. There used to be a way where you could take the pipe, you could click on them with the like a, uh, the crescent wrench or a pipe wrench or whatever and you could change them so they were uh what is that called vacuum or dense basically meaning like the the pipe network thought if it was dense that that section of the pipe was way further away than the other sections of the pipe so things would go there last that really isn't a thing anymore um there are these servos and there are these filters um the filters are only allow certain items to pass through it but again, <laughs> I don't really know how that's going to work. If like we have the pipe coming down here and we got drums on either side, or I guess barrels, um, and we have a filter over here, what's to prevent the item from going this way? <laughs> so I think what we have to do is not do what I'm doing here, not go through the center. I think we're going to actually have to wrap the pipe around something like this and then have it go into the barrels this way I think that makes sense something like that so the first one would probably have like ender pearls let's try this we'd probably go right into the ender pearl one first and we could do like uh, the what is that stuff called zombie brains I was thinking rotten brains for some reason I don't know uh, <laughs> gunpowder uh, let's see what else we got over here bones we're gonna have to upgrade our barrel is full and like the last thing I want is it to go into a chest so like everything else will go here that's kind of what I'm thinking I guess we could uh, tidy this up just a little bit there we go something like that I think that might work so I assume the items will go into the closest spot and then I'll try and go into each one of these and then eventually end up down here uh, we're not using the servos because we're not extracting out these grinders push items out I don't know actually if they can even push into these pipes I assume they can we'll try that out uh, if not we'll have to put them into a chest then we can use the servos and then we can say go into the nearest inventory first um, yeah I think that's about it the only other thing is we need to get those grinders powered I don't really know how we are going to do that just yet. Uh, there are fluctuating item ducts. Let's see, is there one with fluid? Flex plated fluid duct. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so this might be what we need. <laughs> this will provide power and send and receive fluids. Hardened fluid duct, temperate. Um. Super laminated fluid duct, transfer fluids, unlimitless transfer, flux plated, opaque. So, hardened fluid duct, opaque. Okay. So, what we can do, we can make ourselves some fluid ducts <laughs> that are uh, laminated, or not laminated, the flux plated fluid duct. We can have the fluids being pulled out here and go into the drums somewhere else and we can send power to the grinders that way. Or we could replace the item ducts with the, uh, the flux plated item ducts as well. I don't know if I really want to do that. I don't think... I don't know. Can we do fluctuating item duct? I don't think there's a way that we can have like the impulse item ducts that are... Uh, flux plated yeah okay so tell you what uh, instead of looking at that screen and making decisions on camera I'm gonna go ahead and make the fluid ducts the flux plated ones 
We will put the fluid into the drums using those, and we'll provide power to the grinders using those as well. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, so I made some changes here. I moved the barrels up front, and I connected the filing cabinet and our one compact chest all together. Um, so, yep, we have the pipes going underneath. <laughs> so, yeah, our, uh, our pipes back here all go down underground. Maybe it'd be better if we kind of follow the pipe. So, yeah, that pipe comes down here, goes over here, and connects to the bottom side of... The barrels and the chest and all that stuff and then let's see if I can get back up here on the bottom side of our grinders we have these flux plated fluid ducts so these transfer both liquids and power so these guys should get power from here and they should be able to output the mob juice from there as well uh, so yeah we have that coming down here and then that connects at the bottom to just some hardened flux ducts and then those kind of wrap around and go underneath and then connect to the bottom of these solar panels back here. So yeah, everything should be connected. I haven't tried this yet. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure everything's going to work though. Uh, one thing I did want to do is start tidying up some things. So we have some structural ducts plus uh, some blocks mix covers. So then we can use these to cover up this mess back here, I believe. We can just do that and that. We don't even see any of that stuff down below, which is good. I'm going to want to put those on here as well. I'll probably have to do that from the bottom, I think. No, no, that works. Okay, so now we can't see underneath that chest either. Nice. Okay, so we need to come up in here and uh, remove our torches. Don't want uh, mobs spawning on me when I was doing some things. I actually had them spawn on me when I was first... Putting this together, I was like, oh, yep, yeah, forgot the torches, dang it. Okay, so yeah, the grinders are here. The mobs should all be funneled down to this little 3x3 three three spot. The grinders should take care of them. And I think everything should be happy. <laughs> I hope. So we got that, we got this. Let's actually get all the bows out of here. Make sure that this thing's actually going to work correctly. Put all the bows into this thing. Uh, anything else in here? I should remove ender pearls. I guess rotten flesh doesn't matter. Gunpowder and bones doesn't matter since our bone barrel is full. Any zombie brains in there either? Yes, we have three of them. Okay, so now we should just be able to walk away from this thing. It should start spawning mobs in there. They should automatically be grinded. And all their mob drops should be sorted into the appropriate storage containers that we have. Okay, so it looks like we got mobs spawning up there right now, which is awesome. So while we're down here working on things, that's going to be doing its job over there. The only thing is, if, is if we're working in that area, because we're going to be so close to the spawning platform, mobs don't spawn, which is what I wanted, because it's always annoying when you're trying to work around a mob grinder, you're constantly hearing the mob sounds. Like, those will go away after a little bit. So what do we got over here? Oh yeah, look at that. We got bones coming in here. We got arrows. Um, I guess we'll have to keep track of how much of the gunpowder and zombie brains and things like that that we have to make sure that's working. Oh yeah, that's another thing. We're going to start getting spiders now. That's something we haven't been getting. So yeah, that's going to be really awesome. The only way we've been getting string uh, <laughs> is be by me going and... Uh, infesting trees or whatever and cutting those down and that's always kind of a pain I would rather automatically collect string from spiders and things like that uh, so we'll have to figure out a better design for this thing I mean it looks kind of square and boring from the outside maybe we'll put like a I don't know a pyramid shaped top on it or something if you guys have ideas that we can do to uh, make that look a little bit better let me know in the comments down below um let's see I think I think that's all we got for today, guys. I think we're going to go and wrap it up. Uh, we got a better mob grinder set up finally. <laughs> all the items are being automatically filtered, which we didn't have before. Everything was going to this chest, and I was manually taking things out and filtering them. Uh, we can expand this out and make things better. Like, we are getting spider eyes and string. Uh, we have to upgrade a barrel for bones to collect more than that. But yeah, we can make this all better. In fact, we could probably swap this out to its own... AE system eventually or like I said 
all these mod drives will eventually go into like our main applied energistic system uh, when we get more storage space and all that stuff hooked up. But yeah, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on this episode if you did like it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.